Hello and welcome. So for uh, this video, I will uh, prepare something, uh, and it's about um, how we can um, compile a single uh, source file into an executable. Basically, we will go from the C code uh, or C++ implementation, and using um, uh, CMake and Make to uh, compile uh, with uh, GCC. Uh, for uh, C and C++ and get into an uh, executable. So for this, I'm having al already prepared here um, the next files. Um, hello world, uh, the CMake list, which is needed to be located in this particular folder in order to invoke the, the CMake. Then I also created a build uh, batch file which will help us to uh, run the commands. So I have already prepared here uh, the, the tools which are uh, needed for this um, in, in tool. We will get uh, here, we will see the all necessary tools that we are using for this example. And here we will have um, the example. Okay, so uh, let's see. We will start with the C file. The C file is very straightforward and um, it's about uh, a hello world in, in this uh, CMake world. So basically we have here a function which will return um, a pointer. And this uh, function will be um, called uh, inside main with a printf. Okay, and the includes, we have the standard uh, libraries here. Good. Then we want to write uh, um, and populate the CMake list uh, as follows. So it's very simple and straightforward as a beginning. Uh, so we want to set the minimum CMake version which is uh, specified the minimum version required for this uh, project. Then we want to specify the project uh, name and the language that we are programming in, which in this case is C. And we want to add and invoke the add executable with the hello world um, name of the file and he hello world.c here. Good. So this is all that we need of as a very, very simple um, begin step. Then uh, after this, um, we can already uh, invoke this um, here in the bat file. So I all already prepared here some um, variables and um, I will invoke, I will be invoking the CMake uh, and make to compile um, with the GCC. Good. So let's uh, go through this one. So I have the path to the script, which the path to the script is, um, as we can see, the script is located near the hello world C and the CMake, which is just a text file. And this is the um, batch file. So they are in this folder. Good. Um, then I have the build folder name. This is will be used to um, as a separate folder w where we want to generate uh, and um, compile to build. Uh, then I have the path to the Ming, Ming view, which is um, specified as a relative path to the bean folder. Um, then uh, we have the path to the make, which is also um, constructed here. Uh, we will want to use the Ming view uh, make uh, to make exe. Um, then we have the path of the compiler, which in this case is GCC. And we have path to the CMake. Okay, using this, um, uh, these variables, we can create and say uh, and uh, create the folder bin if it's not existent. Then we want to specify um, as follows, we here invoke the, C, uh, the CMake with the following commands. This is needed in order to specify which, what kind of um, make fi um, file we want to generate. And um, 
this commands uh, is a little bit longer because we want to uh, be able to run this batch file without adding uh, some uh, um, variables um, to the environment variables of your system. So if you pull the, the git repo, you can uh, also run this build with no problems because the tools are already existent there. So for this reason, I'm specifying also the CMake make program and I will give the path to the uh, make. Then we specify the compiler, which is also here. And we will specify um, the build folder and um, the source where the source are located. Okay. And then we will invoke um, the make file which will uh, compile um, the um, and will generate the executable. Good. So for uh, more info about the command, you can or, or uh, invoke the help command for this all for the make or the CMake uh, tools. Good. Now let's just try to run this and see the output. Okay. So basically we will go here and open Um, a command line and we will uh, just invoke build and run build. We will wait just a moment. Okay, at this point um, the work is done and we can check um, the bin folder uh, to see what we have there. Okay, so we, as we can see, uh, we have um, the bin folder, which uh, contains like so, contains the all the necessary uh, the, um, auxiliary files which CMake generates in order to 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 work so for example important uh, file is the cmake cache where we can see um, what variables uh, point to and uh, we, we can check here uh, if the variables are stored in cache and then um, we can see the make file which was generated for us and we will uh, can see also the hello world um, executive application. Uh, so we want to try to see if this works here. Okay. And in this case, we can uh, just um, run the uh, application. Okay. So as you can see, uh, the file is compiled and it works with no problem. Now, uh, just uh, a short info, but you can also check by yourself. Uh, we want to see the make file just a little bit to see the rules. So for this, if you want to be able to invoke the, um, let's say, uh, make view from the command, you need to also add the, the, path, to the, uh, the path to your system environment variables uh, if you want to, to check uh, manually in your uh, console. So we want to... Um, invoke the make file uh, to see the rules. Uh, so for this, we will just type ming uh, view 32 make. Yeah. Uh, and then um, uh, we can try to see uh, what are the rules. So for this, we need to open it. And uh, yeah, we can see we have help here. Yeah. So we have all this possibility to um, generate the object file, the assembly, and so uh, many, many rules specified here. So, but in our case, uh, you can also specify like this and you will see what we saw already. So let's see, what can we do more here? So we want to um, run, um, and see if we can generate um, hello world um, dot s.
Okay, see compiling self to assembly. So here we can uh, check if, if you want the assembly um, for this uh, source file. So we can see that it was generated. Um, it says in bean. Um, see make hello world dot dir. Uh, hello world dot c. not here let's see oh c make sorry hello world that uh, and then we can see here the assembly and you can also check this one uh, here okay so this is the assembly um, link um, program for this hello world uh, project small project then we can also do some many uh, as you like we can do also the object um, yeah and you need to uh, here is the object file so uh, same same um, scenario you can do for the C++. So for the C++, I will do the same. If you just go back um, a little bit, there is a C++ example. And here, uh, let's delete because I have a previous build. And we will, the main difference for this one is the source file, of course, because it's written a little bit different, uh, but it's, it's doing the same. Uh, then we will have uh, as a di uh, difference uh, in the uh, a build uh, command. Here we have uh, the um, uh, command for the G pl uh, G++ here. I'm invoking for the C++. And uh, basically I have here an extra path to the compiler and specify the CMake um, compiler as a C++ for the C++. And uh, for um, as a difference for the CMake uh, will be that we want to specify, um, okay, this will remain the same. And then we will also project the project. Uh, we specify the language, uh, which is C++, and also the extension for the hello world changes a little bit. Okay, in this uh, scenario, we can open again uh, the command window and just invoke uh, the build um, uh, batch file and it should create um, the bean folder in where uh, the file is linked okay and now we can check the executable again like we did for the c and like so Hello, CMake word. Okay. Thank you very much. So this example is uh, from um, um, a CMake book, which will be linked in, um, in the description. Uh, but uh, we want to see and learn how can we do this uh, from scratch with no big effort. And it's, it's very useful to have this um, knowledge when working uh and um and using c or c plus uh, plus either if you work on applications for um, embedded controllers or you work uh, on um, on your pc uh, in non let's say uh, embedded world thank you very much and um i hope this was helpful and have a nice day bye bye